The only thing you will say now is that it is wrong. It's exactly what it is. Lord, oh, please, put that to the birds. Melody, I see no love in this. All I see is stupidity, foolishness, and a bit more lack of common sense. Are you trying to insult me? How can I bow down to the same thing I've been saying? How would you want to marry a man without no job? <laughs> Melody, have you even thought about what people will say about this year decision? Oh, please, dear. I want to be given a break on this issue. The decision on who I intend to spend the rest of my life with is my business and no other person's. How am I even sure that this guy has not used something on you? <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny at all. I don't know what you mean by that. This is me. I met this guy by chance and he has proved to me that he is a man. Yeah, right. I even took him to my mother, she demanded. And she handed me over to him as his wife. We are planning our wedding. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why you're kicking against us. Melody, your mother has just handed you over to a liability for a husband. And you're not even bothered about it. Why do you want to destroy yourself? Please, just try and listen to me for once in your life. I beg you, please. Forget the fact that he has no job. Mm -hmm. He has all the qualifications. And I know that with time he will get a job. I am getting married to him because I believe that he has a right to be oh, job. That she comes again with the future thing. <laughs> Melody, your father will be cursing you in his grave for this stand. Trust me. Oh, please. Just leave my late father out of this. I'm not trying to remember the kind of one. I'm not just comfortable with this. This is your decision. Please try to listen to me. See, I, I brought you to this town because the opportunity is here. Hmm? You lived in my house and you lacked nothing. You left this very house without notice. And you're back telling me you want to get married? I say easy to. I'm sorry, so sorry I left that way, okay? But, you see, man must move on. Hmm? You're my friend, and there's no way I'm going to do my wedding without telling you. Chidi, why are you destroying yourself? Hmm? Why would you be thinking of getting married when you, when you have no job? I mean, how in this world do you think of, of coping when you have no means of livelihood. See, Kizito, I went for her because I love her. She's working and I trust her, absolutely. <laughs> We're going to live on her salary till I start working. Chidi! Oh, this is ridiculous. Did you hear yourself? I, I can't believe you are the one saying this. That you are going to live on the salary of a woman? I yeah, should live on you instead. Should I live on you instead, Kizito? See, man, I've moved on. I've moved on with the one I love. You have moved on. Hear yourself. You are dead wrong when you said you have moved on. On the contrary, you have placed yourself on reverse. Yes. And you have brought shame to your family. I mean, that is not the way of the Igbo man. The Igbo man fends for his wife. The Igbo man catters for his family. How could you move in with a woman and you have the ghost to tell me that you'll be living on a salary? See, Kizito, see, Kizito, Kizito, forget all these things you're saying. Just forget it. Eh? We love each other. And I know we can cope. You are the only true friend I have. Or you put yourself on so of me. Or are you going to turn me down? Achidi. 
if I will advise you, cancel this wedding. Yes, cancel this wedding and come back to this house. Come back and replan your life. Everybody wants me to cancel the wedding. Everybody's against me, even my own mother. Sweet Judy, I want you to compose yourself and be the only one that will support me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. I don't want anybody that will make me start hating Melody. Or say anything that will make me start hating Melody. Please. She's all I have. This man be thinking of getting married. but he's not picking. That has been my fate for days now. My son no longer picks my calls. It's obvious he has made up his mind to marry that girl. Eh? Why is it that it's my own son that will not listen to his mother? Sister, it's okay. I want you to calm down and allow me and all this. If you say so, but I just don't understand it. Would he even answer you if you call him? Do you know he took some people to her village to go and pay her bride price? I tried to turn my son into a vegetable. That's all right. Do you have his address in Asaba? I can travel to Asaba first thing tomorrow morning to see him. Because not, I can do that for you. You're not even listening to what I'm telling you. My son has no address. He has no address in the city, nor in the village. Akadangan mom has moved into a woman's house. The woman he wants to marry, he moved into her house. Eh? What do people even say when they hear that my own son moved into a, 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 a woman's house? <sighs> Sister, it's okay. I perfectly understand how you feel. But I think there is something we are overlooking here. Yes. For a woman to accommodate a man in a house in these modern times, it is very, very possible that they are seriously in love with each other. Yes. Thomas, is that how you married? 
Did you, mar did you not marry in the modern times? Is that how you married? Look at my handsome boy that graduated with second class upper. A good foundation was laid for him and he did well. Now he turns around to embarrass me. It's okay, it's all right. Okay, uh, uh, excuse me, let me give him a call and see if he will pick. If he will answer you now. Let me give it a try. What try, <coughs> It's ringing, it's ringing. It's not the ringing, it's the picking up that is the problem. Uh, 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 Chidi, how are you? Yes, Uncle, I'm fine. It's just that I'm having problems with my mom. I know, I know. Uh, uh, but Chidi, what is this thing I'm hearing? That you no longer pick your mother's calls, why? The more I get her hot. But, uh, Uncle, Uncle, you understand. You understand. I originally don't want to bother you. But now it's clear to me that you're the only one I can talk to. Now listen to me. I am not going to pretend as if I don't know what the problem is. Yes. In fact, as I speak to you now, your mother is here with me. Do you understand? I perfectly understand how your mother feels. She's feeling pains. Dalo. Uncle, my mother feeling bad is... She's feeling bad for nothing. The girl in the marriage, and I want to wear it, is a decent girl, Uncle. And she has the fear of God. Uncle, I love her. Uh, but, 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 Chidi, come to think of it. Why would you think of getting married when you are still unemployed? Why? Thank you. That is not the way you were taught. Oh, why, why did you do that? Uncle, unemployment rate is high in Nigeria. It's not my fault. But I know that someday I am going to get employed. I just want my mother to show me this mother the care. And me and my wife, we have this understanding. At least she's earning some salary. I can depend on that till I get employed. It's okay. Uh, that is by the way. Where can I see you tomorrow as I come to Asaba? Where? Uncle? Are you coming to us about my mother tomorrow? You see, that is what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want my mother's problem. Please, uncle. Uh, no, no, no. You're, you are getting it all wrong. I am not coming with your mother. I am coming alone. Yes, I want us to see face to face. It will do us a lot of good. Uh, yes, yes. Can you please send me your address? Okay, after this call, I'll send the address to you. Oh, very good, very good. I, I, I'll be waiting. Okay, thank you, sir. It's okay, it's okay. Bye. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He said he's gonna send me his address. That means I'll be traveling first thing tomorrow morning to Asaba to see him one on one. Sister, I, I want to tell you this with all amount of sincerity. I trust your son Chidi. Chidi will not be wasting his time with that girl if she is not good enough for him. Did Chidi t tell you why he has not been picking my calls? He did not say that. But I'm thinking seriously that he's trying to be the good boy that he has always been. He knows that you will not listen to him whichever way he tries to explain it. And he doesn't want you to continue feeling bad. Sister, I want you to please calm down as I have advised you already and allow me to handle it from here. Things are going to be good. It's okay, don't worry yourself again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sister Melody, the church does not encourage wastages. And that is why I have agreed to wear both of you. I invited you here just to be sure that he has your consent in his plans. He has my consent, Father. Okay, very good. We've actually agreed to do a private wedding. 
In fact, we have printed out our invitation cards for just 15 people. Well, he told me that his mother is the kicking against the weather. It's not as if we cannot wait both of you without his mother. But I want you to make more efforts as to win the heart of your mother in law. I understand, Father. And I am doing everything within my powers to make her see that we are both in love. And I know that all this would end soon. My daughter, I love your faith. But you must understand that faith without works is dead. You must try to win the heart of that woman. It will help you. Okay, Father. I will do my best. All right then. Get out. Dinner, you know? <laughs> get out. That's so funny. Oh funny? my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Baby, I'll be going to Enugu tomorrow to go see your mom. Why? Um, I went to see Father John. And he advised me to make sure that I get my mother-in-law's consent. That's why I'm going. You see, baby, it's not that I'm trying to ask you to disobey the priest. But I wouldn't want you to go. I understand your fears. Same argument. That your mother is very difficult and has refused to see the love that binds us together. Baby, I believe that we would be able to make her see reason with us. Besides, we're already married. Melody, mm -hmm. sweetheart, I know my mother very well. She is my mother. And I know her very, very well. She will make sure you regret that trip. <laughs> I tell you. That's not a problem. If I go to her and then she drives me out, I will cry and to see you reasons with me. Mm -hmm. My love, all that I'm unnecessary. Uncle Thomas, my mother's younger brother, he's the only one she listens to. Yeah, and you know what? He's coming to our home tomorrow. I've already sent him the address. Mm -hmm. I've sent him the address. So it's better we wait for him to come than you going to see my mother. Mm. Mm -hmm. So do you think that Uncle Thomas can convince your mother to attend the wedding? Mm, I don't know, but I trust him. I trust him, yeah. talking about I asked him to cancel the wedding yes and to return to my house I mean he doesn't have a job and he cannot manage in marriage I understand if he is sir. he is jobless but I am working we are man and wife and that makes us one salary until he finds a job. 
Why do I have those feelings that you want to destroy the life of this young man? GD Ibezem is an Igbo man. And Igbo men are known for taking good care of their wives. Please, do not force him to live the life of those who allow women to take care of them. Because if you have pinned him down, please, With all due respect, sir, that is an uncharitable statement. And it's not fair. Look who is talking of fairness. You that wants to destroy the life of a young man, and you are talking of fairness. Kizito, what I what I what I telling my wife? Oh, you're there. Oh, I see. This is nice. Anyways. I just know I remember when you told me that I judged that woman wrong. You were right. And she's such an angel. Chidi could never have made a better choice. Oh. It is a beautiful knowing that you are the one saying this at last. In fact, it took me a few seconds of close interaction with them to know that that girl is the best woman for your son. You know, he's still unemployed. And yet, she's standing by him solidly. Doing everything, providing, and you won't even know. Of course, yes. Melody takes care of the house. Everything. Everything. She treats Chidi like a child. Hey. Even I wouldn't have done that for my late husband. Oh. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> but every day, I pray for them. I pray that she would get pregnant. Ah, <laughs> but you know that pregnancy is a gift from God that only comes when He approves of it. But right now, I think Chidi is so busy and preoccupied with his plans of getting employment that he may not be thinking of pregnancy. Mm. Yes, I think we should just allow them to redefine themselves. Hi, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh. You look sweet. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. I know, um, right? What is it for? Part of the money you gave me last night. It's your money. It is not my money. It is your money. <laughs> okay. It's our money. Better. Our money. So? I thought you should have it. It's 20,000 naira. In case you see anything you like, I'll keep the rest. Okay, okay, okay. As your lordship pleases. Yes, I don't mind. I love you. I love you too. You mean the world to me. I have to leave now. It's okay. Do you have a nice day, okay? You too, baby. Bye. No one, no one could ever be like you.
Even when she provides the money, she's still committed to her duties and her responsibilities as a wife. I thought that now that we are finally married, you would have stopped all this. Melody, how can I ever stop? It's so clear to me now that you've lost your head. I have not lost my head. Nelly, why is it that every time we meet, the only thing that you discuss is my husband? And that is because I don't see him as a husband. Uh, Melody, you know, if anybody would have told me way back in school that uh, Miss Melody Okunka would end up being an unreasonable woman that would make her salary and hand it over to a cretin. Trust me, girl, I won't believe it. Nelly. This is the second time that you are calling my husband a cretin. And I want it to be the last. The salary is mine. And I am his. If I decide to spend all my salary on him, it's my business. <sighs> um, Melody, uh, okay, fine. But, um, there was this pathetic story <laughs> Emeka GF posted on Facebook. Did you read it? I have too many things on my mind. I don't have time for Facebook. Based on what I got from that story, I can tell you that Chidi is just a time bomb waiting to explode. <laughs> Melody, and trust me, that explosion would tear you into smithereens. Nelly, let that be my headache. I am doing everything I am doing because I love him. If he decides to betray me, I'll join the list of other women who get betrayed by the ones they love. It's no news. At this point, I just say it's your choice because I think I've done so much. Thank you. What's wrong? Thank God. But it's a dream. If it was real, I could have been a dead man. <sighs> what was the dream about?
at least in the absence of nothing, I can start a um, event plan and management. Yes. Yes. Wow. Ah, thank God. Baby. What are you doing with your certificates this morning? Uh, sweetheart, during that time of infamous strike of university lecturers that lasted for one year, I used that opportunity to get a diploma in event planning and management. So since the white collar job is not coming up, <laughs> I thought I should use the certificate and start up something. But you told me you don't like venturing into business. My dear, things have changed. huh? My dream in life is to major in white collar job, but since it's not coming, I have to use the certificate that I have. So, just wish me luck, because I know what I'm doing. Of course. I know you know what you're doing, and I wish you good luck in anything you decide to do, okay? I know you will succeed. That's the spirit. Thank you very much. I am very happy. Okay, now, are you going to tell me about the dream you had? Are you looking at your time? You'll be late for work. Babe, I saw the look in your face. And I am very sure that it's a bad dream. See, I'm not trying to scare Come you. on, baby, tell me about it. Okay, okay. I don't mean to scare you with my terrible dreams, but thank God, it has turned to be a mere dream. Just go to work. You'll be late. Okay, okay. But promise me you will tell me as soon as I return. Just go to work. I'll tell you. Just go. Just go. Just go. Okay. Um, the breakfast is on the table. Okay? You don't need to tell me. Because I know you always prepare my meal before you go to work. <laughs> I'll eat later, okay? Mm. <laughs> Take care of yourself, right? You too, bye. I love you. Love you too.
Sensor. I don't know what happened. My car just stopped working. Oh, uh, you got a mechanic? Yeah. Okay. Can I be of help? Thank you, sir, but I'll be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Pretty dumb, sir. It's all like me. I don't often do this, but I just want to help. Thank you. Um, excuse me. I'm talking to you when you walk now. Bring it up, so I can take it to wherever you want. Okay? Yes, it's a long. Can, can you please just come and help me? Yes, I'll wait for you. And then you come. to the International Conference Center. Why do you ask? I was going through the mails this morning and I noticed you You have a letter. Oh, really? Letter from who? Let's see. Let me see. Okay, Escon Petrochemicals Limited. Do you have anything to do with this company? Um, I've written letter to all the chemical companies in this country. What did the letter say? Oh, I didn't open it. Anyways, I'll be on my way to Lagos for the next couple of minutes. I will just drop this with my security man, so we 
find a cup over, you can pick it up from him. You don't need to give it to the gate man, okay? Just wait for me, I will be there in 30 minutes time. 30 minutes? I doubt if I'll still be around in 30 minutes anyway. But please hurry up. Kizit, I'm on my way. Just wait for me, please. Please. Please, just wait for me, okay? Please. All right, man. Yeah. See. Mr. Vested is here to see you. Should I let him in? Mr. Vested? I have never heard that name before. That was the name he gave. Is he here for business? So he said. Okay, let him in. Okay, thank you, madam. because that's you, an emblem for perfect love. By every definition, you're a big girl. Come into my world and you experience total bliss. I am sure you understand what these rings stand for. I am happily married. So if you don't mind, leave my office. Oh, do not dismiss me in a hurry because I have noble plans for you. You're just living with a jobless fool that is trying to drag you to the mud where it is. And you're not happily married and you know it. Mr. Vested or whatever you call yourself, you have no right to talk about my man or my marriage in that manner. Leave my office. Oh, honey, um, the car I actually drove in the morning was a car I bought for you. Please, I have had enough of your nonsense. Just leave my office. I am going to leave, but let me make the point clear. See, the Ibezim is an opportunist. He will dump you as soon as he get what he's looking for. Look, I want to take you to the next level, baby. Believe in me, then I will know you're the smart girl I've always believed in. I'm sorry, I never knew you have a visitor. It's okay, sit down, Mr. Bright. Okay. Bye. Don't overstress yourself. Harassment is this. I have never met this man in my entire life other than today. That's the price beautiful women pay. There are many admirers hitting at them. A man can never stop until he gets what he wants from a woman. Everything is up. I think it's high time I told you the truth. I hope you're not here to castigate my man just like all of them do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nobody's castigating your man. We are all telling you the truth. And what is the truth? That I should leave Chidi because he's not gainfully employed? Is it his fault that the Nigerian government is doing nothing to cut down the unemployment rate? He's doing everything he can to get employed. And I am standing by him. There are many men that I've met. Just like the one that lived here. 
I knew you before now. This man sits on money. I mean, he's the prince of Omori. If such a man is interested in getting married to you, why don't you marry him and forget the unemployed man? You'll be happy. Mr. Bryce, is this not why they say silence is golden? Most people are honorable when they keep their mouth shut. You have showed me your thoughts and your reasoning. And I can see how morally bankrupt you are. I mean, I would have you insult me because I'm telling you the truth. I love Chidi. And that's why I married him. For better and for worse. If you like, get the richest man in this country to be interested in me. I will never betray the love that I have for Chidi. Okay? I'm done with you, Mr. Bright. Get back to work. Everybody's talking about you. They're talking about me. They say we should be together. They just don't know how I love you so. I give my life to you. Your application letter, dated the 17th day of June 2013, refers. We are delighted that you consider our company competent enough to engage a highly qualified young man like you. We have gone through your resume and we write to inform you that we have documented your application. We do this only for those we intend to employ in the future. As we acknowledge the merit in your application, we regret to inform you that we cannot engage you presently. But be assured by this letter that if in the future we start to employ people again, that your application will be given priority attention. Thank you in advance for your anticipated understanding. Sincerely yours for Escon Petrochemicals Limited, Mr. Igwe Kechu. Chidi, what is it? Well, are you not okay with the employment you offered you? They didn't offer me any job. Rather, they wrote to acknowledge my application and they say they will get back to me when they start employing. I don't know why they should write something like this. They, I prefer they, they keep silent, just like every other company I've written to. <sighs> Chidi, sit down, okay? Come on, have a seat. See, if you ask me, I think this is a nice one. This is a plus for you. Because this responsible organization that has the courtesy of, of acknowledging your, your application, I, I believe they will, they will do just as they have promised, yes. Kizito, I am sick and tired of all these promises. I want to start working and earn my own money. Do you understand what I mean? I want to, I want to touch my money. I want to earn my own money. I want to, I want to earn my own money. Hello? Um, your parents were not wrong when they decided to name you Melody. Your voice sounds so melodious. And uh, I must admit that I'm treed. Who is this, please? Oh, uh, my jewel of inestimable value. Sufficed it to say that you are now at the center of my heart. Your love has eaten deep into my veins and capillaries. And I want you to know that someone may die of heart attack if it's being turned down. Listen, I am not going to ask you where you got my number from. Because I know how desperate you are. 
desperate men like you can be. But from the way you sound, I can tell that you're Leonard. Oh, you can say that again. I attended the best secondary school in our nature. But in the 90s, when Jam decided to frustrate their forefathers, not me. I flew down to Kenya and attended the prestigious University of Nairobi. I came out with flying colors, as a matter of fact. I did my first oil contract in Mombasa, served in Kayambu. So you can see that I'm very late hard. Good. And I am sure you know exactly what it means when a lady says she needs to be left alone. Oh, my pretty damsel. You're getting the point wrong. For the mere fact that you married to the jobless entity, makes you alone. He doesn't contribute anything to your life. And that makes you alone and extremely lonely. Come, give me time. Give me a chance. Let me make your life better. I am very loaded and financially equipped. If you continue to pester me like this, I will have no other choice but to brief the police. Nonsense. desired any girl and failed. You are the woman I want to marry. So I will no longer desire another woman in my life. You again? <laughs> oh. You can hardly blame me for having many lies. All the telecommunication companies in Nigeria and in The belief I am an important customer and I'm trying to lift that expectation. Please, don't let me get rid of this line. I have all my business contacts in it. Um, you are a woman and you need money. Everyone in this world needs money. And I have enough of it. Let me make you part of my money. <laughs> Send me your account number. And I would deposit one million naira. <sighs> what kind of a man is this? He even called me with another number. that this is happening. Her phone was engaged for so long and now it's turned off. You know what? It bothers me when you don't, you don't like me, relationship matters, talks to you and you don't listen. That woman's phone has been engaged because she has been talking with her boyfriend. 
You won't believe it. That's a fat lie. That's a fat lie. Melody is a child of God. And she has no boyfriend. And she cannot do such a thing. Oh boy, why are you talking like a child? Eh? Grow up! Say, she finally switched off her phone because he's busy with that man. Possibly in one hotel room. She has to please the man now. She needs concentration. She has to, she has to hit the man. Yes, to have him drop some money. Now you are here, you're telling me that yes, she is a Christian. She is a Christian. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that's what she does all the time. And that is why she has the audacity to throw her salary on your freaking face. I love Melody with all my heart. Why is she doing this to me? You caused it yourself. Of course, you caused it yourself. I ask you to remain here. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't listen to me. You packed in with a woman because you believe you have seen everything that you needed in a woman in her. Now, where has it landed you? Hmm? Where has it landed you? The same woman you love is messing around with just to put food on your table. In fact, you are a bad disgrace. In fact, you are a disgrace to her nurse. I'm telling you. Switch off her phone. Oh, if you ever call this number again or any of my numbers, you will not like what I will do to you. Fool. They will not want to get you. My lord, is everything all right? Your room was very busy all day. And later it was turned on. So I became worried. What's happening? Lord, please sit down. Please. On my way to work, my car stopped working. The one man offered me a ride, which I declined. I finally found a way to get to the mechanic and I gave him the key, which he promised to fix the car. But when I got to work, this same man who offered me the lead, came here and was talking trash. So I walked him out of my office. So, how did you get to know your office? I don't know. It's still a mirage to me. He knew my name, your name, he even had my phone number and our address. 
know how he knew. He's been the one engaging my phone, so I have to turn it off. What is the name of this man? He, he called himself Mr. Sylvester. I also said his friends called him Mr. Vester. Turn your phone on. I'm sure he's the one calling me. He's been calling me with different numbers. Take the call and put it on speaker. You are a big girl, Melody. You are not treating my interest with maturity. With all due respect, sir, I told you I'm married and I'm living happily with my husband. Why are you still calling my phone? And what do you mean by interest? <laughs> I have told you before that you are not married. You are just caged in sorrow and agony. By that jobless low life, Divorce that man today and be my wife. I know you need a standard girl. I asked you to send me your account number so I could remit one million naira to you. But you caught the call and put your phone off. I now realize that one million naira did not move you. I am going to pay the sum of three million naira. If you could, get rid of that hangover you call a husband and be my wife. This is what I have been going through all day. He keeps calling me with different numbers. I have never met this man in my entire life. I understand what you're passing through. All because I have no job. I understand the insult you're receiving every day because you married me. Thank you so much, my love. Your visit has really helped me out. You have to turn your phone on. You can never tell when a good call will come in and you will miss it because of this man. Even if he calls, just pick the call. Don't say anything. Don't even listen to him. Maybe from there, he will caution himself. Okay, Bye. Thank God for the kind of man I married. How many men will understand?
Why are you trailing me? What do you mean by trailing you? See, I don't know about that, but I think we're going the same direction. The same direction? What do you mean by that? See, I am going home and I don't want you to follow me home. Do you understand? I'm going down there to see my uncle. I don't know what you mean by follow you home. Okay then, you can continue. Continue to where you're going to now. You don't want to go again. <laughs> you're acting like a schoolboy. But you know what? I like men like you. So, can we be friends? I mean, can I have your number? No, we can't be friends. I am married. I'm not interested in such act. So you really think that being a married man will prevent you from having some small, small fun? Small fun. Can you continue to see your uncle? Why am I even here talking to you? I'm sure you don't want to turn a fine girl down. Man ever comes back here again. Don't you bring him to me. I don't want to ever set my eyes on him. Madam, why now? Why? For bringing him to you today, he gave me 10,000 naira almost my salary. And that is the highest tip I have ever received since I started working here. That is your business. I don't want to be part of it. If you ever usher that man into my presence again, I will write a memo to the GM on that. He is an intruder and should be treated as one. Am I understood? Very well, ma'am. Very well, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please. Can we? Hello. Are you there? Say something to me, my paragon of beauty. I really want us to bridge to a compromise today. I really want us to arrive to our understanding. Baby. Hello. Angel. Sweetie. Hello. Baby. Angel, say something to me. Hello. All this temptation are coming to us simply because I'm not employed. This time around, I'm going to travel and I believe that something is going to happen. And I will not stop searching until something is achieved. I will not stop. Where are you traveling to? Honey, I've taken census of all the chemical companies in this country. I will travel from state to state. It has not paid me sitting at home. I won't sit at home and wait for them to write me. I have to go to them. But I strongly believe that this time around that something is going to happen after the trip. I thought you said you wanted to pursue a career in events planning and management. Yeah, I changed my mind again. I'll settle for that if after this trip nothing happens. Then. Let me make the trip first. Okay. makes man to be evil and wicked. I know you, I, I believe you know what that means. Who are you? My name is Chidi Bezu. The woman you've been disturbing since morning is my wife. And I'll ask you to stop digging the grave. 
What do you mean by digging my own grave? Are you threatening me or what? Do you know the caliber of man you speak with? I'm aware of the offer you made to her to dump me and marry you. You would listen to me. Don't need to get yourself all locked up. I have given my heart to you, and nothing or no one can change it. Everybody's talking about you. It's not as simple as you told me. Don't tell me you are scared. I am not scared. From all I have seen, the lady in question loves the husband. And the husband loves her too. And can hit at anything that wants to come in between them. Nelly, I was wondering why you would ask me to come and destroy a functional relationship. You parried yourself as a strong man. And after one fruitless effort, you're giving up. You told me that the husband does not love the wife and that she is your colleague and that you want to separate the relationship because you believe that the husband is going to dump her. You give me an impression that you love her and wants the best for her. That's the truth. She's my colleague and I love her so much. Oh, don't tell me that. After one day, you have gathered enough information to counter my brief to you. That is why I am the master of this game. The common the maestro. I vested can unmax anything within a few hours. And what and what have you unmaxed? <laughs> Nelly, the beauty of the spider web does not depend on its decoration. It is as a trap to its prey and a defense to its protector. That relationship is built on an undiluted love. And men like me that are unlucky when it comes to love are not always happy. Breaking two lovers. You lied to me. I am. I know all. I'm not happy you called me a liar. This is the first time I'm asking you to do something. I'm disappointed you're telling me stories. What, Nelly? I'm not getting any younger. I think you should be thinking of getting a husband yourself. Now leave my presence! You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, what are the tests you Two in my company as regard to chemicals. It's right here before me. And I must say that I'm happy with what I'm seeing. You actually impressed my chemical engineers and I. Uh, we are very happy. And we I must say that the future of this company awaits you. A matter of fact, you are what we need in this company. Um I want to officially welcome you to Dallas Company Limited. Thank you, sir. Having said that, I must tell you that uh, this company is built on integrity and fairness to all. Thank you, sir. We will uh, match your zeal with commercial task. And for the fact that you live in Asaba, we built a new plant in Asaba. And I'm making you the head of that plant. So, Mr. Chidi Ibezim, congratulations. This is your appointment letter. Thank you, sir. And I officially welcome you to the Dallas company. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Welcome to Dallas. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. 
things up as we go. Woo! Woo! Okay, please just tell me, what is this excitement about? As you can see, I am not going to Paracot. I am not going to Yenegua. I'm staying here in Asaba with my wife. That is what the excitement is all about! Woo! I'm so happy. I'm so happy, baby. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? I'm lost here. Explain to me. Babe, my start on salary is $4,000. They pay me in dollars. They pay me in dollars. And to show you they are not joking, my wardrobe allowance is $200,000 now. I'm so I'm so I, I, I'm starting to work with her. Uh, See, that's. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Babe. Where? Babe. I'm starting to work with Dallas Chemical Limited. And they made me the head of their new plant established here in Asaba. I'm happy we are made. I know the young lady is a very good girl. Well brought up, I must say. In short, eh, her mother did a good job. And I will always hail any woman that brings up her daughter in a good way. So why are you complaining now? Why are you then complaining? So if you ask me, that woman is the best wife anybody can pray to have. Yes, and please do not forget in a hurry that she stood by your son all through the period that things were rough for him. And most especially now that they have found their bearing as man and wife, you shouldn't be complaining, not at all. Come on, sir, you know the problem I have with you. I will be good, but don't you work at any so. Are you the only one that studied abroad? You're not thinking like an evil man anymore. Of course I am. But you're not thinking like one. A year and three months, they, they don't have a child. Eh, and no pregnancy to show for it in Aguam. Yes, I have no problem. She's a good woman. But where it matters, it got to go in the corrupt. She's not performing. Oh my God. I understand where you are going. Now let me tell you a beautiful story. Tell me, I'm listening. I have a friend who lived with his wife in Onita for good 18 years. I mean, 18 years before she was able to conceive and give birth to a set of twins. Boys to be precise. And you know what? It was celebrated as though it was a miracle. I don't want that kind of miracle. I don't want it. 18 years, I, I, I'll probably be dead by then. Oh, see, so what I'm trying to make you understand is that that woman was able to register this miracle because the husband's family supported her. I want you, I mean you, to support your daughter-in-law at all times. Did she send you to, to tell me this? Why would you say a thing like that? Of course you know that nobody sent me. I am telling you the truth as your own brother. And I want you to accept it in good faith. Thomas, I don't, you're my brother so I don't want to get upset with you. You're acting as if you don't know that she is the only child that I have. <laughs> are you telling me that? Am, am I not his uncle? Okay. I know. In his own time, he is going to make all things beautiful. Just wait. Does it mean that if I leave you, you cannot use your brain? Open my job. You cannot use it, okay? Eh? You just sit down there and pretend that all is well, okay? Why are you getting me confused, mother? Eh? You're sounding as if everything has gone wrong. Why? Everything has gone wrong, and you know it. Everything has gone wrong. Why are you pretending that you don't know that things have gone wrong? I don't, I don't understand what you mean. I don't understand. Okay, I will tell you what I mean by that. Fifteen months of marriage. Fifteen months! 
your wife has not delivered. No sign of pregnancy. You know, never not seen what has gone wrong. Let me tell you, if it doesn't bother you, it bothers me. And I intend to do something about it. I'll come and see you over the weekend. Okay, Mama. Okay, no money. And please, I beg you in the name of God, when you're coming, don't come without your wife. Because I need to talk to you. I need to sit you down and talk some sense into you. Nonsense. Masalo, masalo, please. You say. What's wrong? You look like there's something wrong with your mom. There's nothing wrong, my dear. Don't don't bother yourself. It's just being a normal, difficult person. You know, but I will handle that over the weekend. There was this funny way she was looking at me. I tried to smile at her, but she didn't. See. My love, was this phone call about me? Sweetheart, why are you bothering yourself over my mother's attitude? You know she's a difficult woman. Eh? I am the one you're marrying. You should be concerned about me. Okay? Baby, I know. But I want you to know that your mother plays an important role in our marriage. And we need to find out what her problem is. Mama, if you're being angry with my wife, it's because she's not pregnant. Mama, I tell you your anger means nothing. Because I am the one that worked it out. You were the... What do you mean you were the one that worked it out? Okay, Mama, I am a scientist. I'm not a doctor. Even when I'm not a doctor, I know everything about conception. Mama, the woman I live with, I know exactly when to get her pregnant. I decided not to because I'm not ready. Please, I don't understand what you're talking about. Mama, were you expecting me to get her pregnant when I have nothing doing? She was the one that was making the money we were living on. So I knew exactly when to get her pregnant. Mama, I decided not to because I'm not ready yet. She had better get pregnant. She had better get pregnant too. Else you will not like what I would do. Mama, you're funny. Okay. Let us assume that she was unable to get pregnant. Mama, can you go to Can you hear me? What will you do? Get it It's a simple matter. I will throw her out. What is it? I'll throw her out. I'll throw her out. I'll throw her out. You're talking about the woman I wedded in the church. You didn't marry her. Why you not? You did not marry one. You married a him. Even the church does not allow a man to marry a he. Chidi, let me tell you something. I don't want to get angry. That's why I'm being very calm. You people should not get me angry. Because if you get me angry, you will not like what you will see. I'm one of more Chidi. Mama, you're the one getting me angry now. Man. I'm telling you. I'm not assuming. It's not me with him. Hey, Maro. Hey, Maro, you know him. You again? What do you want? Do not be afraid, for I am harmless. I sent you a text message and you did not answer me. Why would I answer you? Do I even know you? Why can't you just leave me alone? I came here because I observed that you and your husband are in love for me. Since you have refused to forgive me, I came to apologize face to face. Okay, sir. 
Your apology has been accepted. Can you please just leave my office? Oh, the people that claim that they love you are actually looking for every opportunity to bite at you like the cobra and stick like the bee. Be warned. Melody. 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 What is wrong with you? You look odd. Nothing, I'm fine. <laughs> Melody, are you hiding something from me? Come on, I'm your colleague and as well as your friend. <laughs> I know you very well. It's written all over you that you're bothered about something. So tell me, what is it? I'm fine, I'm fine. Nothing. It's kind of you always tell me what the problem is. But it's fine. Outfit. Oh, I'm so tired. I didn't even know when I slept off here. Hmm. Stress, I know. Office stress. Your car stress. That your old car, which your father gave to you years back. You know what? Whenever I see you opening the bonnet of that old car, I feel so bad. I keep asking God, why? God, why? Why can't you just give us a brand new car? Come on, baby. That's not my problem right now. No, it's my problem. Yes, it's my problem. And you know what? Call me. Baby, I'm very tired. All I want to do is just go in and take a hot shower. We are going to shower together. Just come with me. Are we going far? Does it mean you don't trust me anymore? Just come with me. Come, come, come. Come, <laughs> come, come, come. Get up. Come with me. Oh, baby. <laughs> Just come with me. I
Trash to you, but believe me, we are no trash. He will put upon everything you did for him. So that you can make it your easier thoughts to him. That melody, just leave our way you. We just take the cab out and give it to him. But I am not interested. There is no way I would insult my husband by throwing the food that you gave to me out of love back at him. You know, you have become so weary in understanding this. I don't know. There is nothing to understand. I love my husband, my dear. And he loves me too, and he loves you. I would appreciate you to just leave us alone and concentrate on your own life. You have been insulting my husband for a very long time now. Listen, I know that you don't like him. Look, I am the one who loves. I'm not you. Just please, just leave us alone to live our life before you get to your fingers on this. It's terrible. It's a happen so 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 fast. I act like I don't know you about it. You know me You always claim that you have your senses, but your actions prove otherwise. How on earth will you buy your first car and give it to a woman? Kizito, she's not just an ordinary woman. She's not just a male woman just like that. I give this card to my wife. A woman that saw the best in me, the love of my life. She saw the best in me and married me when I had nothing. Yes. You see, I have those feelings that uh, she has caged you with those chance that ladies of nowadays toy with. She caged me with love. Undiluted love. And I vowed to do anything in my power to make her comfortable. Yes. <laughs> she did get that for my car. <laughs> Baba Kizito. Don't forget that you're talking to branch manager of Dallas Chemical Company Limited. So you should talk to me with respect. I will not talk to you with respect because you don't respect yourself. Okay. 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 Now get down. I'll remember that. Me. 
what do you see? I always see the same thing. A beautiful woman with a heart of gold. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. I bless the day I met you. Every day. I find new reasons to love you more and more. And that is what I told Kizito, that I will always love you and love you till I die. <laughs> you have no equal at all. Baby, mm -hmm. you did it. Did what? Read it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> wow. Yes. How did you find out? Um, I've been feeling funny for a couple of weeks now. So I went to see my doctor. Beautiful. And he confirmed that I am pregnant. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, Where's my phone? Let me call my mom. Oh. Go and get my phone for me, please. No, 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 you can use mine. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy. Hello, Mom. Good. I'm fine. Mom, it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for us. It shall be permanent. Give your guinea. What shall be permanent? What is it that you're not telling me? Talk now. What is it, Chili Biko? I told you, Mom, that it's going to happen very soon. My wife is pregnant. believe this. I cannot believe this, Chid. Hey, how? When? Yeah, my wife is two months pregnant and the court doctor has confirmed it that the pregnancy is in the right shape. Mom, rejoice with us. I am rejoicing now. I am already rejoicing. Hey, now, what about your wife? Hmm? She's right here with me. Let me talk to her. Near the phone, let me talk to her. Talk to her. Okay. Hello, Mom. Hello. Wonderful girl, my pilaka wears. If you know how I talk about you, eh, you won't even believe it. I am very proud of you. Eh? Oh, when I talk about you, people listen. Eh, because I know your mother trained you well. Eh? See now, God has blessed you. Hey, Melo. Thank you, mom. Melo, I am happy that you people have come to see the doctor. Very, very important. Don't want any complications, so. Mom, we know the importance of the pregnancy. And we cannot leave anything to chances. Okay, mom. Oh, okay, mom. That is good. Eh? But don't worry. Before the month runs out, I'll come and visit you people. Ah, <laughs> that would be nice, mom. But, mom, I wish you were coming to live here. Oh, my Mbao, that is not possible. I wish I could, man. You know my little business. If I leave it for that, my sales girl, she will run it down. Eh? But don't worry, I'll come. Eh? I will come. Go. Come. Go. Eh? Very soon, my name will become Come and Go. <laughs> Melo, Melo. <laughs> uh, no problem, Mom. We'll be expecting you. Eh? God is awesome. Oh. Hey, Nemo. Okay. Bye. Wow, babe, this calls for celebration. Let's go. <laughs> baby, baby. We are celebrating. We are celebrating. Let's go out. No, no, no. Babe, we can't go out. Why? Babe, you know we have lots of enemies around us. 
So we cannot give them any chance to be close to us. You just made a point. Carefulness is the watchword. I'm back. <laughs> wow. I want to make a move for the family and a wise move. What exactly do you mean by you want to do a move for the family? What move? You know, when a man loves a woman, he saturates his mind with a lot of thoughts. You all are thinking of that right now. Oh. I love you. I love you with everything in me. I love you with all my heart. You're all that I'm thinking of. I, 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 can't, I can't even think of any other thing. I can't even think of any other person. You saturate this memory, this brain. It's all about you. Why do you want to make me cry? I love you too. I love you too, baby. I love you more. Okay, do you know what? Come with me. Baby, I'm not well dressed to go out. We are not going far. Just outside. Mm. Mm. Just come with me. Okay? Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. about no yes who owns this car you of course it's your car i bought it for you because you deserve it <laughs> yes it's your car and that's the key babe you went to buy me another car when I already have a brand new car? No, that one is old. This one is newer. I'll call it the old car for me. And you'll be driving this new car. Babe, you are the foundation of this family. You deserve the best. See, I will love you till we die. Baby. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing all this for me? You want to know what you've done? You stood by me in the dark days when nobody gave me a chance. I love you, sweetheart. I'll always love you till we die. You sow a powerful seed into my heart. I'll always be there for you. Love you too. Touch your car, drive your car, give your car, carry it on your hand, cruise with my baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Come on, come on. You deserve it. <gasps> Babe, 
Bro, come on, enjoy yourself. No. If you think that I would allow you to break this house, no way. Let's be responsible. After two steps, we still live in the house that we live in. And gradually start building our house from there. without me knowing.
early with a great big kiss from me to you won't you say you love mama too friends my mother said it clearly listen to friends and you will die quickly Hello, my love. I am the best because you said so. You are the very best amongst the best. How is the big boy doing? Fine, yeah, everything is fine. I am on the road. Where are you going? Yes, you did. Um, so, are you coming back home? Why not? I will come back. I actually called to tell you that my secretary is on her way to the house. Open the safe in my library and bring out the black briefcase. Open the briefcase and you'll see a file marked which her analysis. Give it to her. But, my love, you know I don't know the combination to your safe. Okay dear, just send me the text and I will get the files ready before she gets here. Alright, okay. I love you.
What do you need for me? Get up, get up, get up. Get up, please, 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 no matter what, get up. <laughs> Jesus. What's the matter? I saw the files. I saw everything. Your life insurance, what, 250 million? made me the only beneficiary. Is that why you were shedding tears? Hmm? You remain the most valuable thing I have. I have your name in everything because you owe everything. What matters to me is your love. Once I have your love, you have everything. In my next life, if there is anything like that, you would be my husband. And I will love you to my last words. Come on, drain your tears, okay? You're so funny. They're talking about me. They say we should have 